Good morning, Barrington High School. It's time to take out our school planner and see where we currently are in the year. Could it be true? Only eight more weeks after school? That's right, Kate. And even less for you lucky seniors out there. Well, first up, we have a special report about last week's NCAA championship game. To get our full story, we contacted a BHS TV legend. Let's send it over to our guest correspondent. Hey there, Barrington High School. This is Mark Minner, class of 2008, coming to you from Lucas Oil Stadium, the site of the NCAA championship game that pitted, yes, Butler University against the Duke Blue Devils. It did not turn out as I would have hoped with Butler in a victory category, but two chances right at the end for Gordon Hayward to secure the victory for the Bulldogs. Getting around Zubat at midcourt, launches the shot. Oh, and almost went in. Almost went in. Duke is the king of the dance, 2010. Unfortunately, they dropped by two points, 61-59. We caught up with a couple players in the locker room after the game. As you would imagine, not everybody was too thrilled about that loss, and only a couple players were actually talking to the media. Let's take a listen. It's hard because it hurts, but at the same time, you know how hard everyone battled, and maybe that makes it hurt a little bit more. But, uh, you know, everyone played their tails off tonight. I, it's un un unbelievable effort. We had guys step in again um, that no one expects to play well. And did a great job. And so, uh, you know, it's hard to be really upset about it, except for, you know, the fact that we wanted to get this done. Well, that will do it for the Butler Bulldogs season here at Lucas Oil Stadium, six miles away from campus in downtown Indianapolis. The good news at the end of the tunnel, though, they're returning most of their players and look for a good preseason ranking. From Lucas Oil Stadium, this is Mark Minner. Back to Barrington High School. Thanks, Mark. Next. Wait. That was Mark Minner. Uh, yeah. Why? He's the man. Whatever you say, Io. Moving on, Liz is covering a special project that the freshman class board is involved with. For nine years, the freshman class board has been collecting craft items for the Children's Memorial Hospital. With the cure for cancer still unknown, these children are living with very low immune systems and appreciate this annual giving of crafts. I spoke with the freshman class board for more on this project. Megan, what is the freshman class board doing to help the Children's Memorial Hospital? Well, what we're doing is we are collecting craft items, new um, craft items to donate to the cancer center at the Children's Memorial Hospital for the kids that are going through chemotherapy and cancer treatment. And why did the freshman class board choose to address this issue as a community service project, Steve? Well, it's been going on for about nine years, and we think it's a good time, um, a place to put our time and resources. And what can students at Barrington do to help this cause? Students at Barrington can donate new craft items, such as markers, pads of paper, pens, um, coloring books, such as the ones you see here, anything else that can keep the kids um, active and entertained while they're doing their treatment. These children are going through a very difficult time in their lives, and the crafts are just one bright spot in their day. And what is the significance of it being new craft items? Um, well, because the kids are going under such um, so much treatment, they have very weak immune systems, and if we give them any um, used or old craft items, they might pick up something like the flu or something like that, which could be very bad for them. So we need them to be new so they have no chance of being sick. Parents have told us that the crafts make a big difference in the lives of the children in the hospital, so that's why we need to donate all these crafts to the kids. And where are the donation boxes located? The donation boxes will be located at the GRC and in the cafeteria. This incredible act of giving makes a world of a difference to each and every single children's life and is a small way to extend a helping hand during such a difficult time. A big thank you to the freshman class board and we applaud you for your efforts each year. Make sure to look out for the boxes and donate. For BHS TV, I'm Elizabeth Kahn. It's good to see BHS students making a difference in the community. Speaking of making a difference, Catherine caught up with the UNICEF Club. I'm Catherine Deacon, here with the officers of the UNICEF Club here at Barrington High School. Now, can you tell us what the TAP project is? Sure, it's UNICEF's global movement to help end the disastrous situations of water worldwide. Now, what is the situation with water? How many people go without clean water? Nearly 900 million people do not have access to clean water, and nearly half of these people are children. 24,000 children die a day from preventable causes. How can Barrington students get involved in the TAP project? Well, actually, you've seen us in the lunch hours on Wednesday and Thursday, and we're going to be there today on Friday, so you can buy your lanyards, your t-shirts, bracelets, and if you can't afford any of those, then any donation that you have is worth a sticker or a pen. 
and just one dollar can provide a child with water for 40 days. Wait a sec, I just got my confirmation text. That reminds me, Katie, you can also text the word TAP to UNICEF 864-233 to make a $5 donation. Thank you for your time. Clean water shouldn't be taken for granted, so make sure you get involved with the TAP project and make a donation. I'm Katherine Deacon for BHS TV. Back to you guys in the studio. Sounds like a great program. Hey, Io, do you know what time it is? What time is it? It's time to get in the know. Thanks, guys. I'm Alex Selich. It's Friday, April 9th, and it's time to get you in the know. Ten of our students here at BHS have been nominated for the National Merit Scholarships. Good luck to all of them. Lions school, staff, and families, past to present, are all invited to the open house April 29th at 5 p.m. Numerous activities are planned, including school tours, a highlight video, display of memorabilia and student work with treats and refreshments. Leave your thumbprint on a wall mural and purchase an engraved commemorative brick. Don't miss this occasion to catch up with old teachers and friends. Prairie Middle School is putting on the production of Bye Bye Birdie starting April 15th. 70 students will sing and dance their way through this memorable send-up of Elvis Presley's Introduction to the Army. The musical includes some of Broadway's most remarkable song and dance numbers. Be sure to check it out. Congratulations to BHS senior Grace O'Brien, who was recently recognized by the High School Equestrian Athlete Program. The USEF allows high school students who ride horses to letter in equestrian sports. She invites all other riders to join her to visit the USEF website for more information. BHS senior Anna Ollinger received the President's Volunteer Service Award. Ollinger was one of the top 10% of applicants from Illinois. This prestigious national program annually recognizes Americans of all ages who volunteer significant amounts of time to serve their communities and their country. The Little Broncos teachers attended an early childhood development conference on March 5th. They enrolled in workshops to enhance their teaching. They concluded their day at the Songfest performing one of our best early childhood songs, Ravioli. On a more serious note, are you or your friend in a crisis or maybe even feeling helpless or depressed? If you are, please visit hereinbarrington.org or call the help hotline at 1-800-273-TALK. Be sure to support your orchestra's dancers. Their show started last night and runs through this Sunday. And finally, after counting up all the final donations, the final amount for the IT campaign has come up to $12,000. Great job, BHS students. And Mr. Kasich would also like to thank everyone for their help and support. Remember, if you want anything featured on BHS TV, just head over to 238tv.com and submit your report. I'm Alex Elich, and now you're in the know. Thanks, Alex. That's it for this week's show. From all of us here at BHS TV, I'm Io. And I'm Kate. Connecting you to your school? One Friday at a time. Have a great weekend, Barrington.